Kaina Fano. Shan here from Kai Down Under. It's a beautiful day here down in the deep south. The sun's out, it's shining, but uh, we've got a pretty gnarly whistly out there. Probably can't see it, but uh, the harbour's cutting up pretty bad. Never mind though, I've done a bit of investigating and hopefully I can find us a nice calm spot for the day. Crack up, that's a mean song, eh? Oh, yeah, just got that, that summery vibe to it. I don't know what they're saying though, but it must be something pretty crack up. Any of my Usos, my uh, Samoans out there know what they're saying, just let us know, eh? Gotta go and um, dive a new spot today, uh, one that I haven't, haven't quite checked out before. Um, my mission for today is I want to get out there and um, hopefully spear a couple of fish. I also want to get some powers for uh, an event called uh, Creating Space. A lot of you will know uh, the brother Harmonious, Harmonious Ra, the brother Harlem. Um, and he, he travels around New Zealand organising these events everywhere, um, bringing everybody together. From what I hear, it's pretty awesome and it brings people together. So that's something that I'm all about. Um, that's something that I'm into. So yeah, we'll get out there today, you know, try and, try and get a feed, see, see what I can get. And um, yeah, do it for the cause. Boom, 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 boom. Now tell me what you gonna do. Go up for a bit of a stop and uh, had to visit, visit one of my mates who um, lost his life a few years ago in a car accident. Brother Kieran, rest in peace, brother. Now, this fella here would have been a crack up to go diving with. Probably dangerous as he definitely would have ate all the food. Absolutely one of, the, one of a kind, this fella, eh? Just always made me laugh with the same sort of sense of humor. So. Uh, I really miss him and um, yeah, think about him all the time. It's the way it is though, man. You know, we've all, one day we'll all be out of here. So that's why I want to make most of these times, eh? Uh, for the brothers, for the brothers and sisters gone a long way. Just get out there and do it. <laughs> Long walk shore diving. First of all, get fit. Uh, something, something that I really need to work on, man. You know, back in the days I was fit as, but I'm starting to feel it now that I'm getting a little bit older. Second, get yourself some shoes, you know. Running is important, running shoes are important. But as you can see there, diving is more important. These used to be mean shoes when they first came out. Man, these seagulls are fucking dive bombing me. You gotta watch it, man. I'll get it. Get out of it, you dog! I don't know if you can hear me, the wind is uh, probably making that audio a little bit hard to hear, but made it to the spot. Looks looks pretty good to me. Nice and sheltered uh, away from those westerlies that are pumping in at the moment. Oh, well, me here now, ready to get into it. We'll just uh, get geared up and get out there. Fuck, I'm just glad to get that backpack off my back, man. Just done about oh, three or four Ks, it's about 30 kgs on my back, so. Damn, it's just pretty harsh on the old traps, eh? Look at that whānau. Back in the moana. Back in the happy place. After 
entering the water, I knew this was going to be a mean dive. The viz was on by my standards. I took a drop, just a shallow one, um, in about three or four meters, and waited on the bottom. A tip I've got for hunting uh, butterfish, or just any fish in general, is don't panic, don't flail your arms around, just stay nice and relaxed, glide nice and smooth, and no fast head movements. If you act like a predator, the fish will just scare away. The tide was still pretty slack at this stage in the dive, so no fish life at the moment. Well at least that's what I thought anyway. I had this random butterfish uh, pop up from the weeds and went to take a shot and my safety was on. And to make things worse, the um, gun was still connected to the catch bag as well. Now I don't usually go chasing after fish unless I get presented with a pretty good opportunity. Um, but I dived down anyway, um, stayed calm and this fish just sort of popped back out of the weeds and ended up taking him. So that was the first uh, kite on the board for the day, but um, I wanted to take care of these powers first for creating space. Uh, didn't take long and came across a nice good patch. The powers in this spot were actually quite hard to see. The kelp was quite thick on the bottom, so yeah, and when it's slack, it's actually a lot harder to see the power because there's no movement. Uh, when the tide's swaying around and the currents are uh, drifting, you can sort of see in between the cracks and see the power much easier. Not really any need to measure any of those whānau, but I can tell that those are well over legal, but uh, we'll measure them just in case, eh? So that was four power out of the way. Drop down here for another couple. Woohoo! Now I just found a pretty big power. Go check it out, eh? Man, I'm just blown away every single time I dive under and I see this kai, I just think that is worth much, much more than money to me. Knowing where it came from, Seeing the process from start to finish, from the bottom of the ocean to the table, uh, it's just so satisfying. So that was nine power out of the way after a few drops. Uh, quickly duck back under to grab this last power and say goodbye to all of his mates. The limit is 10, so say goodbye to these ones for another day. Oh, I've got those, those 10 powers already, that was way too easy. Try and get some fish now. Already shot that one butterfish, but um, wouldn't mind a couple more. Beer battered butterfish, can't beat it, man. That's Head back to the rocks. For creating space, feed a fish, snack for the rocks. That's us. Now, if you're a diver, you can probably relate to the scenario. Um, I always make a decision right, it's time to go back in now. And on the way back in, I always see an opportunity that presents itself. Uh, at this stage, I've seen 
a couple of good looking cod so dropped down to the bottom uh, waited on the edge of this uh, little sandy sandy patch and threw up some sand to try and bring this cod in uh, but it done the opposite and he sort of um, got away on me so I hit him with a pretty bad shot in the guts and he actually ended up ripping out but at this stage my GoPro started turning off for some reason or other and um, yeah I didn't get him ripping off as I was loading up my gun to um, go back down and retrieve this cod um, this random ass flounder just came across and started checking out the cod um, I wasn't going to let him get away so I quickly started reloading um, dropped back down and ended up taking home this flounder so I'm pulling up this flounder on the end of my spear uh, while looking down at the same time trying to keep an eye on this struggling cod that's wounded on the bottom this is a, a flounder, a pātiki bloody beautiful haven't had one in a while it's not too often I come across a flounder so I was pretty stoked uh, I thought I'd give him a proper stab to the brain but obviously not there's nothing worse than wounding a fish and letting it get away so now I've got two wounded fish on the bottom that I have to go back down and retrieve I head down grab this flounder and luckily enough the cod is still just buzzing around in circles um, I can't quite seem to grab it it just keep shooting out and slipping out of my hands and away into this kelp and while I'm trying to chase this cod through the kelp I've got this flounder that's almost escaping my grasp as well so I decide to go back up and take care of it I simply just couldn't find the brain for this flounder so I just ended up sticking my thumb in its gills and sort of cracking its neck and I also ended up uh, diving back down getting that cod Oh, man, good kit there our food there. Out safe and sound. Look at this kai, eh? Fuck, it was a pretty good dive out there. Uh, not that I dive very deep, but the viz was pretty good. Check that out. Man, got some decent poles there. Good size on those poles. It didn't take me long to get those, you know. A couple of dives and I was in. I'm just glad I got a feed of kinners to have right now too. Wow, but check that out. The most randomest thing I probably could have got out there was this flounder floating around. I didn't want to bend up my shaft, but um ended up sticking him and it did sort of pop into a rock my shaft. I was trying not to bend it, but um yeah, I don't want to do that if I had to, but I wasn't letting get away. A few good butters there as well. I'm stoked with those. And a legal cod. Primo. Can't complain with all of that, can you? Too easy, man. Well worth the walk. Definitely going to be going back uh, a few kgs heavier than I uh, walked in here with anyway. Check out that beautiful power. Massive. Bloody massive legal sideways powers there. I'm gonna crack open one of these kinners, refuel, charge back out on that uh, track, eh? Interested to see what sort of quality these kinners are out this way. They're not really big, but hey, they're not bad either. Still pretty big. Got some cream on there too, so sweet. Mm. Check that out, Fano. Creamy. Premium creamy. Yeah. That's going to give me some good gas for the walk home. Well, this is going to be great to 
get this bloody oh, bloody pack off. Woo. There's only one word I can use to describe how I feel now, and that is fuck God on all my. Well, I just got home to a mean surprise. We package here from the Stray Line Farno. Let's see what we got inside here. Awesome. So that snapper there, and got kingfish there as well. I've uh, actually never tasted kingfish or or snapper before believe it or not we don't get them down here so this to me is just this is a treasure definitely definitely not going to last long in this household this is what i love about this lifestyle and this um this kaupapa hunting and gathering kaupapa that we've got going on um here our culture you know just to give give to people i really appreciate that thank you so much to my sponsors for sending that out to me Chee -hoo! Kingfish man, sashimi's on. You want some of that too? I just finished filleting up that butterfish. Got about 1100 grams there of nice white fillets and a couple of blue cod fillets as well. And I'm gonna try something different with this flounder, something I haven't tried very often. Usually I just pan fry them, chuck it uh, straight on the barbecue or something like that, but I'm gonna fillet this one and then pan fry it with the skin on and I'll probably smoke up the frame of it. Let's chuck this in the fridge, chill off and we'll have that for dinner tonight. So we've got four little fillets there. It's primo, those will be good for pan fried. Time to do these piles up that I got for the creating space event. Now you can use your thumb to get in there and uh, whack that foot off the power, but I prefer it just to use that. Save so getting a sprained thumb. Just make sure you get under there nice and good. Ten beautiful big power. I'll take those inside, clean them up. Now personally, I don't eat the power guts very often. I do sometimes, but I do always usually give it away. Um, I'll give it to my uncle on my wife's side, and he uses it to catch his eels. What are you doing, Miss? I'm mixing it up. You're mixing You're it mixing up. The better. Oh my god. Just here at my uh, <laughs> wife's family's house. Oi, look, look at Mum. Hey. My other parents. <laughs> <Hey. and> <laughs> Empty bottle. Just there Empty having a uh, bit of a whānau dinner tonight. We're going to have a bit of uh, a bare-battered butterfish. Time to hit that beer better. Yes. Gin's the best cookie. <laughs> you wanna eat some fish? No. What? Why not? I don't like it. You! Look at that. What do you guys think of my dog anyway? This is Buddy. You would have seen him in a few of my videos. He's a little hoo-hoo grub with a gorilla face, a wee puggos. He's just a pocket rocket. Always hyperventilating from doing absolutely nothing. Let me get circle. Is that yummy? Yes. <laughs> Check that out, Fano. That is absolutely primo. Man, so awesome to just get out there today and do that. Provide some kai for um, creating space and also, you know, bit of, bit of uh, dinner for all the whānau. Shout out to the brother Glenn. Uh, thanks for the advice you've been giving me on gardening. I'm 
pretty much a noob to gardening so you know some of the info you've been giving uh has been really helpful yeah and i'll hook up with you soon brother and we will go out for a little bit of a, a ruku a bit of a dive and get some more kai moana for creating space uh, this is what i really love about this lifestyle is that kai brings people together you know we we get out there we do our kai mahi and um you know we keep surviving if you're new to this channel don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button uh, if you've seen all these videos before, thanks for watching again right to the end. Uh, if you made it this far, you must be some pretty boring followers because um, I don't do anything too exciting, eh? We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Kai down under.